guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely day. Now in today's video, it's been, it's been a busy couple of weeks and I've finished filming quite late um, last night. Nevertheless, I still managed to um, video and get the tutorial done for you guys. So I hope you're all going to like it and enjoy it. Um, so without further ado, let's begin. If you'd like to see more videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that bell button to receive updates whenever I upload a brand new video. So guys, to make your lily, first and foremost, you need some gum paste. Now the recipe to my vegan gum paste should be on your screens now. You need some lily petal cutters, some lily petal veiners, burgundy, spring green and moss green petal dust. And these are all by Sugar Flare. You don't really need your foam pad, but you can use it a little bit if you want to, um, just to thin the edges, but again, that's up to you if you want to do that. Your groovy board, this little handy knife tool. 26 gauge green or white floral wires. You may or may not need your ball tool, again. You need this sort of a rolling pin, this size. This is for when we shape our petals and you'll see why. You'll need a paper towel and your sugar glue. Again, the recipe for my sugar glue should be on your screens now. And you'll also need a storage board. So let's begin. So we'll first make our petals. And you only need six petals for this particular flower. And I'm just going to be making mine in white today. So make your gum paste pliable, roll it out into a sausage. And just fill the grooves. And you're just going to fill them out. And yes, you'll need some scissors for this as well, or a pair of tweezers. Get it really nice and thin. And then just cut out the six petals. So once you've cut out all six, all we're going to do is get our sugar glue and get our petal and we're just going to dip our wires in the sugar glue and just poke it through. Just like so. And then just give it a bit of a pinch. And then with the veiners, groove side facing down and in the middle. And then just press really, really nice and firmly. So you get that maximum texture onto the petals. And that's what the texture looks like. So it's really nice and lovely. And like I mentioned before, you could use the foam pad and just thin the edges very softly as we don't want them to give, the, give them too many frills. So just only softening the edges. And then with our scissors or a pair of tweezers, you are just gonna hold the scissors like that and just gently snip a tiny bit at the top and just drag it a little bit. So snip and just pull, just like so. We're only gonna do a few of these. 
So snip and just pull. But you don't want to go through all the way down to the petal. You just want to sort of get that top layer, very, very thin top layer into the scissor tip and just pull. Once you've done the little specks, we're just gonna pinch a tiny bit of the base and just give it a bit of a twist. And to shape the petals, all we're gonna do is just bend the wire from the tip and just place it on your rolling pin. Curving that backwards and it will just sit there really nicely. And you wanna do that for the remaining five petals as well. And it's now time to work on the centre bits. So for the middle centre, you need some gum paste. And you just need around the size of a pea. And you're just going to roll it into a ball. And we're just going to coat the wire tip in sugar glue. So just a little bit below the end and you only need a tiny bit and then we're just going to poke that through all the way through so you've got a little bit at the end and we're just going to press that in and keep twisting it with your fingertips or in the palms of your hands until we get it really really nice and thin and you want to more or less keep the top bit round so when you're twisting it and making it a little bit more thin then don't touch the top bit and just work your way down and leave that as it is so you can flatten it out a tiny bit but again so you want it a little bit thick, thicker than the bottom bit so maybe around half so keep the top half a little bit thick and the bottom half thinner than that bit so keep going and making it thin you just want to, where the flat bit is on top, just want to create three indentations. Just like so. And then you can flatten it out a little bit more. And if you need to, go over it again. just like so and then we're now going to leave this to completely dry and while that's drying we're going to work on the little buds around the center so to make those little bud bits again we just need some icing and roll it into a board again and again just around about the same size of a pea and again coat the little wire just a little bit just as we did with the center section and poke it through again and do exactly the same thing as we did previously it's very easy if you use your silicone mat so just like that and now we're gonna get a little bit more I think And just roll it up into a bowl, then into a sausage. And you don't want to make it too long. And 
and all we're going to do then is just glue our top little bit of the icing on the wire and we're just going to pop that in right in the middle of this bud of ours so make sure you do get it in so it looks like that and you can flatten it out a tiny bit and just make it a little bit bigger and then once you've done that we're going to get our knife tool again this little mini knife tool and we're just going to create a little indent at the top of this just in the middle just like so and then we're just going to push it together and once we've done that we're going to get our paper towel and we're just going to use our burgundy shade coat the top section in some sugar glue except for the part where we've just put a little incision as we want to keep that white but apart from that coat the whole lot even behind it and then just dip it into the burgundy shade do it from one side first and then tap off the excess if any and then just pick up your shade and just drizzle some on top just so we don't get the the stem section and you should end up with something like this and now we're going to do the remaining five once you've done your buds we're now going to continue and do the same for the center and we just need to color the top part of the center bit for which again we're going to just get our sugar glue and just coat the entire top section of that bud then we're just gonna dip it into our color just like that and that's what this should look like once they're all done the top sections and now it's time to dust the green and all you need for this is some spring green and some moss green and with my brush here we're just gonna use the spring green and just color the entire top half of the center bit, the one that has the incisions. So really you want it dark to where the bend is and then just go over the bottom and just keep it really really light and 
just so it's more or less a tint and you should end up with something like that so half up dark and then half at the bottom light and you want to do the exact same thing with this so once you've done the centers it's now time to move on to the petals which we're just going to use the spring green only and we're just going to dust the bottom little bits just like that I'm going to get rid of the excess and that's all we're going to do and using a flat brush we're going to use the same spring green and we're just going to very thinly go in the centre and take it all the way to the top tip and this is on the back of the petal So you just want to use your flat brush for that. And then again, just get rid of the extra colour using the fluffy brush. Just like that and you want to do that for all six of the petals as well so guys once they're all done it's now time to put it together so get your floral tape and i've just cut it in half as usual so the first thing we're going to do is get our center bit and get our little buds and we're just gonna put them slightly below the main the main bit and really they together from the bottom and about halfway up they sort of go away so bring them together first which I'm going to do so we're just going to put them together at the base and all we're going to do is just bend that away from the middle. So it's roughly at the same height, but it's just bent away. So the bottom bit is completely next to each other and we're just bending that top bit away from the middle. And for stability, for more stability, you can even use um, a 20 gauge full wire. And then we're gonna go around and add these just as we've added this one. So, and once you've added them, you should have something that looks like this. And I've tried to keep them as realistic looking as possible with the way they're curving and bending um, so now it's time to add the petals, add the big petal first and you can have them as open or closed as you want. So my first petal is just going to go where the centre is, the base of it. I'm just going to tie that together. Now you can add all the petals in one go or you can add three of the big ones first and then add the others in between I'm going to do it like that as well so I'm going to add the three big ones first evenly and then I'm going to add the smaller one in between And then just bring it all the way down 
with the tip. I've done a really, really long stem for this one as they're generally just really, really long. And there we have it. So guys, are you ready to see our Stargaze beauties? How gorgeous do these, do these look? And realistic. I couldn't, I can't forget to mention realistic because these look so real. You could use these and put them on a table in a vase just like this and no one would ever know whether they're real or not. That's how realistic these are looking and I'm absolutely in love with the way these turned out. Oh my god, I just love them. Just look at them. You can almost smell them. And on these beautiful, beautiful notes, this video has come to an end. I hope you've liked the tutorial, guys. If you have, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please also show your support and subscribe to my channel as it keeps me on my feet and motivated to make more new videos for you guys just like this. So I hope you're going to like it and you're going to enjoy it. And if you'd like to follow more of my work, then I'll have my social media links down below, as well as my own personal group, which you can join and share your lovely creations with me. I would absolutely love to see them. So please don't forget to join my group and share your creations. And don't forget to also subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe to the channel, then please don't forget to hit that bell icon either because without that you'll never know whenever I upload a new video and you'll miss out. So if you don't want to miss out and you want to keep seeing content and videos like this that like these, please don't forget to hit the bell icon or whatever you do. And I'll be back next week with a brand new one. Take care and bye guys.